the cold, the ice, the snow. These are just some key features in a winter landscape and we're going to be using some of these features to be making our own miniature bases and this is a great way to convey a winter themed landscape on your bases so let's see how we can do this and apply it to our bases. <laughs> Okay, so once you've gotten your base, what you can do is you can either do this with a miniature on the base or without a miniature on the base. Of course, I'm doing this without a miniature on the base first, so I can easily show you uh, in more detail and without the miniature getting in the way of how to do the base. And then you, what you want to do is you want to apply your ground texture. And as you can see here, I picked out a small rock, a nice tactical rock there to have on the base. And always nice to have a tactical rock on a base. As well as that, I've also just used some basic sand from my driveway that I've sort of sifted and cleaned out as the base for my miniature ground you know you may want to use a texture paste or uh, any other sort of thing you have a sort of like a main base ground but I'm going with this sort of uh, rockier texture making it look uh, more natural and as you can see I'm gluing my nice tactical rock there uh, to the base and make that sort of a focal point of the base now when you have a miniature around and that you're of course going to be re relying on the constraints of the where the miniature is placed and stuff like that so just a matter of laying it out how you want then once I have that nice tactical rock glued down with super glue, I'm just going to come in now with some Mod Podge. And I'm using this for the main basing of this, which is, like I said before, the sand from my driveway. And a, a reason why I used uh, super glue here, because I want that rock is a lot heavier than the sand I'm going to be sprinkling on here. So it's more susceptible to moving around. So I wanted to eliminate that fact by just super gluing it straight down. And then that way I can come in with my sand here and apply it to the ground. Now remember, like I said, you can use any sort of ground covering you want here keeping it uh, sort of themed so you may want to just come within with a texture paste or exactly like I had nice and easy and cheap and using some gravel or sand you have from your driveway and just a matter of layering that on nice and thick and then getting a good overall coverage of our piece there making sure that we cover every inch and we can't see that base anymore then once you're happy with the placement that you have for your base what we're going to do now is prime it up so I'm going to be using some Vallejo surface primer here just a nice base gray uh, now there's a lot of primers you can use here, it's totally up to you with what you want to go with here and I'm just going with a nice neutral grey and I'm of course applying it over everything and now you could use a uh, spray can or an airbrush or like I'm using right here, just an ordinary basic brush to cover this up. I want to of course make this nice and simple so anybody can do it so I'm just using my brush to apply this nice and easily. But one thing you gotta do when you are doing bases like this, especially with a lot of gravel texture, is you wanna make sure you wanna get into all those little nooks and crannies and make sure everything is covered in that primer. Now that we have all of that completely primed up, we're gonna start off with some basic colors. So I'm gonna be using some Rhinox high here. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just basically using a dark tone for this because we're gonna be using a lot of very light colors and we're applying snow and stuff there. So I want that to contrast. Uh, a little bit and the easiest way to do that is to use a nice darker color underneath so I'm going with a nice heavy dark brown and rhinoxide is a nice deep brown to use there so you could use a lot of uh, different tones here but I want to show off the sort of effect you can get with having that very uh, light colors with the snow and then the very dark colors with our ground cover here to really make it pop out especially standing back from the table Then once I have that ground cover completely painted, I'm going to come in with the rocks now. And I'm just going to be using a base, generic sort of rock color for this. Nothing fancy here, it's just a few tones of grays. And of course I want to start off with a nice uh, deep gray. And this is sort of a brownish gray, our castle gray that we're using here. To do the, our tactical rock, as I said before, a nice awesome standout little piece. It's always nice to have a bit of a standout piece like a tactical rock or a little bit of a bush or a certain tuft that stands out amongst the rest to give that little bit of focal point but you don't want too much because you don't want to distract from the miniature just a little bit there to make a little bit more eye-catching interesting piece on any base. Then with that rock base coat as well as the little rocks around it I'm coming with a uniform grey here which is a bluish grey so this is going to help tie into that cooler theme like I said here. I want to make because we've been using a lot of sort of warmish colors here so I want to start making everything a little bit colder and giving that sensation of a nice cold landscape and going in with a bluish gray here to help uh, add into the effect is really going to help subtly change it you won't notice it 
uh, too much just by saying hey look here's a different bluish color in here but it's going to make that sudden change especially by the end of it that we've got these cooler tones into the piece and of course if you want to you could go around on some of the areas on the base that were painted on our ground cover as well to give some little areas of different color to the piece then once we have that blue gray introduced we're going to come in now with a wash i'm using some dark tone for this and this is going to be for our rocks here giving it a good nice deep darkening down of the color now i'm oh, we're going with a brown wash here because that'll warm the rocks basically back up and we don't want to do that we want to keep them nice and cold uh, looking anyway and just giving them that black tone is just going to darken them down without changing the warmth in it too much as if we had to come in with a brown wash so giving it a good nice overall coat here making sure we don't have it too much onto the ground but it's not too much of a problem at this stage then once we're given that tactical rocker wash we're going to come on with some strong tone now which is our brown wash and we'll be using this for the ground so like I said we're going to be covering a lot of this in snow and we want that contrast with that sort of like warmish ground even though it's going to be cold we still want that uh, texture and richness so I'm going with the brown wash here you could of course go with the black wash here but I want to still just have just a teeny little bit of warmth in there that ground because I'm not going to be putting complete snow over the whole lot we have some ground showing so we need to show some areas where it's warmed up a little bit and we don't have that snow cover completely on there and like I said this is all going to be very very subtle in there but hopefully by the end you'll see that all, all these little tiny effects here can really add to the piece overall and giving it a proper feeling that we want to go for on our base then once we have that ground cover completely dry we're going to come in now with some ash gray which is a very light gray and we're going to be using this for like I uh, said before that we did with our uh, bluish tone we're going to come in and dry brush it over top of our tactical rock here and bring in some cold colors back into the piece so this uh, gray here is very uh, sort of nearly like a off whitish color and how light this gray goes so it's going to be perfect for showing off that effect then once we have our rock dry brushed up we're going to do it once more and this time it's going to be with ivory and as well as that we're also going to be dry brushing the entirety of the ground as well giving it a very light dry brushing over top to make it look like we already have a little bit of snow coverage on here sort of like a cheap easy way to get that snow coverage because like i said we're not going to be putting piles of snow over the entire thing so you can't see this base work we've been doing so we want to subtly introduce like there's little bits of snow onto the ground and coming in with an ivory is going to really help out with this to like a, there's little bits on the ground and of course give it that overall frosty effect like the ground has been frosted over and it's nice and deep and cold then once we have that complete what we have is basically the foundation for the entirety of our piece so now it's coming in time to decorating and we're going to be using some tufts here as you can see i've got uh, two different types of tufts here uh, some by army painter and some by gamers grass and it's just a matter of coming in and picking out what tufts you'd like on here so also too don't be discouraged and only picking out winter style tufts you can use other types of tufts here like you can see here these ones here uh, from gamers grass are actually quite green but what we're going to do is add on the effects to the grass and give them the appearance that they are frosted over and cold as well so like you can see here the difference between our winter tufts and our frozen tufts they're very stark in contrast our frozen tufts are nearly completely white and our winter tufts have a little bit of green in them so we'll show off what the effect's going to be in the next step when we start making them a lot more frozen over and cold but still adding in color to our tufts okay so what i've done is i've just pre place some mod podge onto our piece here where we're going to be having a lot of that snowfall going and as you can see here there are lots of different types of snow uh, texture and basing things you can use i've got some uh, warlord game snow here i also have some army painter there's also the hull and blizzard which is uh, games workshop so there's uh, different types here but i'm going to be using this powder snow here by uh, warlord games i really love the way that this snow texture comes out it really looks like that nice fluffy snow that like really packed um, freshly fallen stuff R great my favorite type of snow that i can use here but like i said there are multiple different types of snow you can use here and it's just a matter of placing it on the base and how you would like it but don't cover the entirety of that base we want some clear areas on the piece Then once we have it 
place down you can see we've got a good overall coverage of our snow here all on the base but you can see that it's not very thick it's just a nice light covering over the top so what i'm going to be doing is adding uh big chunks of mod podge to the piece where i want those piles of snow to really be packed up as well as that you can also see that i've placed some of the mod podge in between the tufts there and sprinkled some of that snow effect on there which has given them the nice uh snowy winter look like they uh the snowfall has come in between those bits of tufts there and really built up so just a matter of coming in placing the areas that you want with your tufts to really bulk out those areas and as you can see i'm being very very thick with our mod podge we want that nice nice lot of piles on top and the fluffy snow is great for this like i said before because you can really build it up over time and add in a lot to those pieces but i'm still leaving patches that aren't as high and patches that haven't even had any of our snow textured flock on it either so we've got that nice variety in the piece and one also uh interesting trick that i found out with this particular snow uh that with our warlord games one that i'm using here that if you want to keep it nice and tight and really pile that snow up is to actually use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and just dot it onto those areas of the pile of snow what it does is it sort of soaks in there then sort of instantly solidifies it with our mod podge on there and it really hardens and stiffens it up but also retaining that height in the snow rather than if we were continuously applying mod podge over the top it takes a few layers to build it up as it slowly sinks down but when you put the isopropyl alcohol in it it sort of just makes it hard but also keeping it to the height that you just placed the pile of snow on it's a really neat technique uh, i don't know if it works with the other snow type flocking but it does with this warlord games one here this really fluffy like snow then now we have all that complete all there's time to do now is to paint that base room now remember you can paint your base room however you like to match your army but as long as that base room is black <laughs> no 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 just being silly here you can base it however you want and match it in with your army here i just like black because i like the way that it gives off a finish and makes it look like a sort of diorama and encapsulates the whole piece with that nice black base room really finishes off and gives it an actual edge but totally up to you what you want to do here but now since we've finished that base let's go on to some glamour shots as well as some areas where i've used a similar basing scheme before on other miniatures to give off that nice winter snow effect so let's check that out and there we have it guys our finished final miniature base of our winter theme basing scheme so i hope this video is helpful for you guys in creating your own basing schemes and give you that winter themed idea for a single miniature or an entire army so nice simple techniques to really help get that winter theming across so i hope this video has been helpful for you guys in creating your own miniature bases here in the winter theme scheme and i'd like to thank you all once again and i can't wait to see you all in the next video